Sarah looks. How often should you go to buy a wash in your hair? If someone were to ask me how often should they go to buy a wash in their starter locks, I might be taking the example on three people, right? The person with the crochet hook, starter locks with locking gel, third, free for. I wouldn't go to buy no recommending them with the same frequency of washing their hairs. Starter locks with the crochet hook, go first two weeks without washing your hairs, weeks thereafter, go to buy washing your hairs once or twice or three times or maybe even four times. That really gonna depend on your own you know, occupation. For the first time I retreated my hairs, I waited about two weeks. After two weeks, four days in a week, right? Our hair loves water. The more you wash your hairs, the more you know you free up you know your pores your hair is gonna be you know, popping out and you're gonna be having long hairs on your head and you're gonna be you know having a beautiful dread so wash your hair if you're using locking gel on your hairs and asking me the question how often should i go about washing my starter locks what about waiting you know one month right one month is enough after washing your hairs do not retouch your hairs wait again after three months washing your hairs every end of the month go about retouching your hairs because you do want to give time to your hairs to grow way more natural without so much you know pressure on your hair this gotta be my way my opinion how However, some hairdressers, my tell you guys, come back here after every two weeks. I'm gonna be washing your hairs and retouching your hairs, and your hair is gonna be able to be locking. Fine, it might work, but if you are ready to pay for the money, then that's fine. Because let's say, for example, you go to buy a paying 200 per session twice in a month, that gotta be 400 in a month. You know, retouching your hairs every two weeks is not guaranteed that you know your hairs with the locking gel is gonna be locked up, right? So the best way to go about waiting one month, wash your hair lightly, and then the next month again, wash your hair, and then the next month again, when you wash your hair, then you go to buy no retouching. Your hair. You're gonna be saving some bucks. This is way more better, you know, that way every you know end of two weeks pulling your hairs, pulling your hair, pulling your hairs, your scalp is gonna be inflamed sometimes and your hair fibers are gonna be you know, totally messed up. Now let's talk about the free form. There's no twisting, there's nothing. You just gotta go about you know letting your hairs do their own portions, forming the dreadlocks on your hair. One example gotta be Jay-Z. Jay-Z you know, started his own dreadlocks, you know, with natural free form, right? So that's really straightforward. Go about you know, washing your hairs as much as you can, but but make sure to properly dry your hairs whenever you wash your hairs. Because if your hairs are not properly dried, your hair is gonna start smelling, right? So it doesn't make sense someone is washing their hairs every day and their hairs go up by the smelling. So I'm just uh, sharing my own experience with you guys. Go first, try for yourself. If you work, fine. If it doesn't work, then come ask me questions. So this is gonna be the way I would you know, go about approaching it, right?